I've been traveling all around the planet for lectures and invitations, and um, I welcomed uh, visiting scholars who came for one year to visit me at the university and spend time researching uh, in my lab. And, um, and, and that's why I, I have artifacts around me from various countries and um, I, I'm sensitive to cultural difference and I can distinguish uh, what's the, you know, friends and people in every country and the difference between them um, and, the, and their government. And so this is important to me that to, to express that we may know the relativity of uh, positionings around the planet uh, between the various countries, but still uh, we are all uh, on the same page as, as humans. We have developed enough intellect and critical thinking now. Sometimes I doubt when I, I see, uh, you know, 80% uh, of the population in the world uh, falling under the same illusion. But, but uh, uh, critical thinking may come after a while when people will just understand they've been cheated or, you know, uh, manipulated. Um, but we developed so much the intellect and also the belief systems, but not really much the intelligence of the heart. And so that's where I, I think we are missing an important dimension that will be uh, super, super important and crucial in the coming months and, and years. That's the dimension of the heart. And I, I see people who locate uh, the first brain in, in a, you know, in, in the skull, the second brain in the guts. Now it's well understood with a microbial uh, bio system. There, there is intelligence in the way things are organized. And there might be a, a third brain, but often uh, what's just forgotten is our heart is composed um, for 65 percent of neurons and so there are intersynaptic connections in the heart as well. The heart is to my understanding our third brain and um, it, it's super important that um, we develop this uh, synergetic aspect of ourselves, the intelligence of the heart. Uh, obviously, we have two hemispheric uh, uh, brains. We we tend to think, uh, you know, with one rather the other, and this synchronization of both through the corpus callosum may help us gaining um, a better sense, a more a fuller sense of. Uh, reality, but it's really at the time we start thinking with our heart that uh, we develop substantial progress in our uh, vision of uh, the potential of being a human. So this is part of what I want to develop with you during the coming uh, videos. It's something uh, very deep and that is transformative because we too rarely have time to think about those aspects of, of life. We have these days with, you know, the confinement in our homes, um, the, the ability to stop the rat race and uh, reflect about what's our life. What is the life I'm living and um, is it really the life I want to live? What did I develop during the last years that fulfills my heart? And uh, what didn't I do that I could do now? Um, could I reorient my, you know, life in a sense 
that would be more meaningful to me. So all these aspects are, are very, very important. And I suppose <clears throat> at any age, um, millennials, they think they seem to be more sensitive to their freedom to act in uh, um, the way they want and be free from society's uh, hustle and uh, choose their path. Um, yet uh, it's on the ground of uncertainty rather than um, sense of fulfillment of who they are, of uh, ability to self-brand and find who they are deeply and express it into a manifestation. So <clears throat> at any age, there is this, this time of relaxed phase of reflection when we think is it really worth uh, doing and what is the direction that I want to take. So I, I hope um, this will uh, lead to um, helpful and useful reflection for you and that we can um, you know, work together uh, for a while. Thank you for being here.